So you'll notice the gravel fill that's inside our, our beautiful base here is lower. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill that with sand. And the reason is our floor is going to be made with fire brick. And fire brick um, has, I mean, the, probably the primary benefit is it's, they're very clean edges. You can use used fire brick, but make sure they're at least one face of it has a clean edge. So this is going to be the floor of your oven. And if you have nicks and gaps, that's the floor of your oven. You have nicks and gaps and you're going to get food stuck in there and you're going to end up with soot stuck in there that you can't clean out. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. So you want as clean an edge as possible. And we need to lay them flush to each other so that our floor feels completely smooth. And the easiest way to do that is in a sand bed. So we just want to make sure that we're not going to catch the stones and that the stones are going to be what holds up our bricks. And you, so if you, don't, if you don't have a level, you can just use a very straight board. Then we're going to start laying the floor from the middle. The height of the dome is 75% of the diameter. So if we have a 36 inch diameter, we have a 27 inch height. So we're going to make a dome that's 27 inches high off of the floor of our oven and 36 inches around. And what I want to do first is find about our middle. So we have in this point our diameter of the stone base is 58 inches. So we're going to do half of that. So we'll check it 90 degrees from that. And now we're at 55. So we're going to orient this way because that's where our door is going to be. And so we're just going to start with four bricks. And then what you want to do is it's called kissing. Kissing. Um, you kiss the bricks so you hold it higher than your sand, flush up against the first brick, and drop it down. And we're going to do the same. We're going to kiss this one and drop it down. And then we're going to kiss the last one. Now this one has to touch both of these existing bricks and we're going to slide it vertically down. Like that. And now we can just continue. So we're going to end up with three additional rows and then one additional long row, if that makes sense. So we'll have eight by four. Then what we're going to do is take our bricks and we're going to tamp them in. So just start in the middle and tamp so each tamp each brick so that it meets the the bricks next to it. <laughs> and the the flatter you get the floor, you know, the easier it is to bake on, the less areas for soot build up when you build your fire because you build the fire and then you pull it out. So there's yeah. there's soot involved. Um, and the easier it is to clean the floor if you if you have a nice smooth surface. So the smoother you make it now, the more time you spend now making it real nice, the nicer it's going to be to bake on. And the on. ash will eventually fill the cracks. Exactly. Yeah. Now we're going to make the circumference of the circle, and that's going to be the diameter of the inside of our oven. So to draw a circle, you can do it two ways. You can take a string, stick it in the middle, and go, and your string is 18 inches, and draw your circle. Um, or you can just make a lot of lines and connect them. We're going to do the latter. So I'm just going to keep drawing lines all the way around and then we're just going to connect those lines and make a circle. Okay. So then we're just going to connect those lines. And I'm just going, you know, line to line. I'm just connecting and roughly an arc. So I look to the next line. <laughs> and now, after I've destroyed your pencil, it's all yours again. Yeah. Thank you. And now you have this back. So our next step is build a dome. Build a dome. So, right, exactly. Now we're moving forward. Good. <laughs> So we're basically building the simplest, most boring sandcastle you could possibly build. Um, and to build a sandcastle, it's easier when the water, when the sand is wet. So we're gonna.
put some water in each bucket. We can add water as we go. And then we can start putting that on the dome. You grab one side, I'll grab that. Or on the floor. Oh, we're just going to dump it? We can dump it. And we can add water to it, since probably all the water was at the top. We'll do a little bit of this. We can turn that around if you want to start strong with the what we can start doing is pull it to the line and do the line first, okay, so that we don't lose our line. And we'll just keep. Encounters of the third kind. So our, our next step in building the oven is going to be to put the cob thermal mass layer around our sand dome. <laughs> 